All right, everybody. Let's see, I'm just finishing this up here. You know, I got a little interesting one. I got a, got a lot of people who are texting me wondering what the hell am I talking about on a bamboo tree? So I know, just stay with me, stay with me. It's gonna be a little unique one, but I think you're gonna really like it. It's one of my favorite ones too. So I'm just finishing prepping here. Okay. All right, I'm still trying to work on this whole Facebook thing and how to make it all sync up. We will see who the hell knows what takes shape on here, but we're gonna see what we have. All right, guys. So one of the things that we're gonna talk about today is this infamous bamboo tree and what it's all about. And yeah, I'm very passionate about it. And so it has a lot to do with real estate, it has a lot to do with life, but it has a lot to do with things that we we face. And so if anybody's out there, if they can just give me a thumbs up or whatever to test to make sure that they can hear me. I always get nervous that people can't hear me or leave a comment saying I can hear you or don't do anything at all, you know, it, it doesn't matter, but hopefully everybody can hear me. So bamboo tree, I don't know if anybody's here heard of the story, but we're going to start off by using the bamboo tree of, of it's a significance of, of where we are in our life and how a bamboo tree actually grows. But in order to get through that, you got to start from the beginning because a bamboo tree, just like anything, starts with a seed and you put it into the ground and every day you got to water it and you got to fertilize it. But the thing is, is when you're watering and fertilizing, it's not one of those simple little things. For those of you who have plants, for those of you who have gardens, it's a pain in the tail to, you know, water it every single day. And then if you're out of town, if you're on vacation, you got to water this bamboo tree and you got to water your garden and you constantly have to be nurturing it. Well, it's kind of the same thing in our life. Like I wrote down a lot of notes here, so I'm going to be looking at it as, as we speak. But in that nurturing, in that watering, in that fertilizer, life's hard. And I personally been through some challenges, just like anybody else has been through some challenges. But I always find it entertaining when people always say that you're lucky or you're able to do this because you have money or you just know people that know people and blah, blah, blah. In part of it, I kind of like look back at it and be like, you have no idea. Like the don't judge a book by its cover over here because I got a lot of ugly pages. I got rip pages. I got pages in here that I can't even understand. I got pages that have glue on it, soda spilled on it, probably, you know, liquor spilled on it. I got gum on it. I got my kids handwriting on my pages. Like my pages are a mess. And on the outside, it looks like everything's great. But you know what? Life is hard. Like it's it's a challenge. Um, I, in the last four years, five years of my life, I've had my license suspended. I've had drinking problems. I've had to move out of my office into four different locations. I've tried to do different things with businesses and I failed. The most recent one has been my new business transition that I made. I had an opportunity to move offices and I and I did, and, and like I tell friends and family, like, oh, I moved offices. In life is, it's just so funny when I say it to people, like, yeah, I got a new office and a new uh, opportunity presented itself. Wow, you're moving offices again? Wow, what's wrong? What happened? What'd you do this time? It's never like understanding that the office move was for a positive op you know, opportunity. It immediately goes to a negative mindset of, well, something bad must have happened or he must have pissed somebody off or he didn't pay his rent or whatever it might be it's nothing positive or maybe you outgrew something or whatever took shape but like and they're from friends and family like hey what, what took place you know those aren't fun conversations that the immediate thing when you tell somebody is changes they go to negative town um you know i've i've borrowed money to borrow money to pay somebody else I've had to borrow money from people that at time periods I couldn't pay back. I had to borrow money from friends and family and you go and you have family, family gatherings and you sit down and you're having dinner and meal. And the only thing you think about is how much money you owe people. You know, I've been down those, those challenging paths. I've, I've had the, the difficulty of going through that and how, what that looks like and how to swallow that. But 
when you when you're in those moments you kind of sometimes look back at it and be like why the hell is this happening to me like what's taking shape like why am i going through these type of situations like did i do something wrong did i piss somebody off do i have bad karma all these things kind of start entering into your head and you start thinking about it and it's just like at least for right now because i've been through so many horror stories and dark days i was just talking to a buddy of mine just recently and him and I share some similarities and, and I was like, I just, he just had a baby and he's going, he's, he's growing through something really nice. And it's like seeing people get to the other side. is such a great feeling. And you don't, you don't know what you're growing through or you're going through at the moment. It's like, you're going through like the shit storm really. And it's like, huh, what is all, what is this about? But one of the things that I've learned and one of the things that I've dealt with is don't run away from it. Eric Thomas always says this, you're either entering a storm, you're either in the storm, or you're getting out of the storm. Those are your three phases of life. Going into the storm, you're in the storm, or you're getting out of the storm. And a lot of times I always like to stay getting out of the storm because it's a lot nicer there and you know the sunny skies and everything else is beautiful and everything else is good. But you can't, you have to confront it. You have to move forward with it. You have to endure those type of things and you got to grow through it. So the thing that I say is you're going to go through it, but make sure you grow through it because in that moment, in that time period, that's where it's all going to take shape. And there's another line that say, easy come, easy go. If it was easy, everybody would do it. I say it all the time. I'm like, oh shit, if it was easy, everybody would do that right there. If it was hard, that's when you really find out the people. That's when the weeds are picked. That's when you find out if the crop can handle itself and grow through that type of drought, grow through it. It's like sometimes we see plants growing through sidewalks and there's like no dirt anywhere. And you're like, how the hell is this thing even growing right now? Like that is amazing how that plant grows. But you got to be able to get through and confront those moments. But it's very, very hard. Well, a lot of times people say, or they'll ask me like, well, how did you do it? How did you grow through that? How did you hang in there? And there's, there's two key things that you have to have to equal the one thing that's going to take shape. And here are the, here are the two things. One is you have to have faith. You have to have faith that it's going to work out. You have to faith that it's going to take place, whether religious or wherever it is, you have to have faith. The second thing is you have to believe, but more importantly, you have to believe in yourself because there's going to be a lot of people who are going to point fingers, laugh at you. There's going to be a lot of people who are going to make fun of you and they're going to be your friends. They're going to be your family. They're going to be your closest people that you thought were in your corner. And they're going to be like, um, listen, if that doesn't work out, I want, you know, just know you can come back. You, you can come back to us. You can, you can do this. Like I just, feel like you're kind of stepping outside that that crazy zone there um so you so you have to believe no matter what no matter who no matter how crazy your dream is you got to believe in yourself you got to believe it when there's nothing else there you got to believe it when you can't see it you got to believe it when people are laughing at you because you have the faith that it's going to happen and it might not happen today it might not happen tomorrow it might not happen in a year from now but you have to have the faith that it's going to take place because when you have those two things, all right, when you have those two things, it equals something and it equals patience because you have to have patience. Our society loves, loves light switch responses. We want to be able to have a light switch for everything. How many of you get pissed off when your internet's not working? When your phone, something's happening in your phone, it's taking too long. Why is this happening? Why can't I get my internet? Oh my goodness, reset the modem. Like we want things instantaneously all the time because we come from a society that is built off of this quickness. We want it always boom, 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 boom. But it's in that patience, in the belief, it's in the faith that sometimes you have to have the patience in order for you to get to that next, the next part of your life. And when you have patience, when you have patience, it's going to drive you to action. Okay. So for those of you that might be taking notes and road mapping this, you have, when, when you need to hang in there to hard times, now stay with me. You have to believe in yourself 
you then have to have faith because it's going to be built off of patience. And when you have that patience, in that patience, it's going to cause you to create action. And when you have that action, it equals the results. Okay. Now, how does this all circulate around this bamboo tree? Okay. Here's, here's the thing with the bamboo tree. You can Google it. You can look it up. The Chinese bamboo tree is, is grown out east or west, wherever the hell you live, wherever it's grown, probably out in the tropical region. But a Chinese bamboo tree takes five years to grow. Okay. Well, in those five years, you have to water it and you have to fertilize it. And here comes, here comes the big one and nothing takes place. Okay. It's one of the hardest trees to grow because you have to water it and fertilize it for five years in a row. And on the fifth year, what takes shape is it will grow 90 feet in five weeks. Okay. So for five years, it doesn't do a damn thing. It just sits there, but you still got to water it. You don't see any change. Nothing takes place, but you got to water and fertilize it. Okay. That's the hard times in case you're wondering where this is going. That's, that's the time period where you got to keep doing it when nobody else is looking. All right. And then in the week after that, in the fifth year, it then grows. And it grows 90 feet within those five weeks. So, so the question becomes, does the tree grow in five years or does it grow in five weeks? And obviously the answer is that it grows in five years. Now, Here's, here's where we relate it to life and we relate it to what takes place during those five years is that hardship that I talked about. It comes into play where people are laughing at you. People are putting you down, thinking your dreams aren't going to work and you got nothing to show. It's kind of like imagine if you were planting that tree and you went out all the, same, all the time and people, when you were out there watering your tree and fertilizing it, people started kind of like, hey, bud, what, what do you got going on over here? Um, it seems like you keep going to the same spot and you've been doing it for year after year after year, but I'm not seeing anything come through with it. Like, what are you doing? Like, what's happening? I'm watering a tree. I'm not too sure how much you drink today, but there's no tree there. There's nothing there. Very easy to be able to showcase like that you're doing something that they can't see. Okay. But here's where that belief and that faith come in is because I read this, I saw this, I seen it, I, I've been around it. I've been with people who have bamboo, these Chinese bamboo trees, but you're going to keep watering it. No matter what anybody says, no matter how cold it is, how hot it is, you are going to water this tree. You're going to get fertilizer. I have no money, but I'm going to figure out a way to fertilize it. All these things take place. And they're going to still question you. And they're going to say, well, how the hell, you know, what, what do you want? What do you got? What are you going to do with this tree? Like, there's nothing there. And you're going to be like, I need to go through this process in order to get to where I need to get. And that's why this bamboo tree is so important because it, it allows you that. But when you're watering it and you're fertilizing it, what you're doing is you're watering your dreams and you're putting fertilizer on your dreams. You're working every day on your dreams. And if you let people deter you from your dreams, you will never reach those dreams. You'll never reach those goals. But here's, here's the big catch. I want you to pay attention and listen to this. People will only believe in you. People will only believe in you when they see it. And the difference is, is you believed in it when you didn't see it. I'm going to say that again because that's a really important part. People will believe in you only when they see it but you believe in yourself when you can't see it, when nobody else is looking, when nobody else is around, you're watering it, you're nurturing it. And that's when things start to take shape. That's when success is made. That's when the growth takes place is during the hard times when there's nothing for you to see, there's nothing to take place, but you have to keep believing in yourself when nobody else can see it. And that's when the people are making fun of you and laughing at you. And in those moments, that's, that's where the success comes in. Now, here's the other part that's so important. Not only is it important to do things when you, when you believe in it and nobody else does, 
But during those five years, okay, during those five years, there's a process. The process is more important than the result because the result's going to take shape if you do what you need to do. But that process allows you to learn about yourself. That process is where you find out how dark, how gloomy, how hard things are, no matter how, what it takes place, that's when you grow. And that process becomes so, so important than the result. There's this saying here, they say, the harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. The harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. How many times when you when you do something and you run and you work out and you're grinding it out and you're sweating and you stay up late and you and you do things and you keep going and, and you get to it and you're like, oh, I'm done. I did it. It's such a such a good feeling that you accomplished it. You made that lap, you did that last rep, you did whatever it is. And it's such a sweet victory. How this all correlates with this is that's how real estate is. That's how small businesses are. That's how relationships are. That's how like anything you do in life, there's going to be some really, really hard times. There's going to be some time periods where you're staying up late at night. There are going to be some time periods when nobody's around. There's going to be some time periods when you can find yourself like, hey, nobody's going to know if I do this. Nobody's going to care if I do this. Everybody already told me I can't do it. And you're going to have to fight through those moments. I wrote a stat down here that did you know, remember I said the bamboo tree takes five years. In this case here, in two years, in two years, 85% of real estate agents don't make it. Isn't that a crazy statistic that in two years, 85% of real estate agents don't make it. They don't even get to the freaking five year mark for the bamboo tree. They can't even get halfway through. And I'm sure it's like that for other businesses. Why is it? Because it's hard. Why is it? Because you got to react to conditions outside your control and you got to find ways to adapt. You got to find ways to overcome, i.e. COVID is the most recent one. When you have interest rates back in the 1980s that were 18%, 20%, how do you overcome those challenges? It's very, very hard. It's, it's in, in a, in a, you go the other end of the spectrum, how easy is it how easy is it when things are good? How easy is it when it's blissful? How easy is it when when we have your bills are paid, your relationships are good, your kids are on A and B on a roll, your car is washed, your house is clean. All these things take shape. That's that's it's easy. Life's easy then. But what do you do when you still got rent to pay, your mortgage to pay, utilities, your internet, and you're looking at your bank accounts and things aren't good? Your son comes back from being suspended. Your daughter had a D in one of her classes. Your wife or your significant other is not very happy with you because you're out the night before or you haven't mowed the yard and you've been, you're behind on your dreams. You're behind on your bills. You haven't done this. The car is a mess. There's still oil needs to be changed. Like, what are you doing in those time periods? What are you doing when you're trying to grow through it? How are you handling yourself? Are you walking in into an office and pretending like people can't even tell you're dealing with so much stuff? Are you walking in around people telling you people hi? Are you saying hello? How are you doing? I'm doing great. Could be better. But meanwhile, you got a shit show back at home. Your bank account doesn't show that either. That's when you're watering your bamboo tree. That's when you're putting the fertilizer. That's when you're getting up in the early mornings to get there to water it when you still got 18 things to do. That's when you're putting the fertilizer down there and trying to figure out ways to pay for it because you know, you know that it's going to grow because you have the belief and the faith and you're willing to put the patience to it to equal the action of that bamboo tree. If you can do that, and I strongly suggest you can look at some of the stuff um, on the bamboo tree read the stories, see, put in their Chinese bamboo tree motivation. You're going to hear very similar stuff that I said, but that's the stuff I listen to all the time. I listen to it because when you're dealing with the grind, when you're dealing with the hardships and people are telling you different things and it's like, man, maybe they are right. Maybe I am doing something silly. I shouldn't be doing. Why am I moving again? Why is this taking place? I don't know. Don't know. But any time I've gone through a really difficult time and I look back at it, 
I say to myself, "Uh uh-huh, now I know why I had to go through that to get to this. At the time period, it's very hard. I challenge you this. If you were to think back last year on something of a challenge you had to face, do you remember it? Obviously, there's going to be some really important items in your life, but most of the time, if you were to look back on August 13th and think of the emotion that you're going through, good mood or bad mood, would you remember it? Probably not. It's the same thing. I'm not too sure what's going to, like today, I won't remember a year from now what was I going through of an idea. Same concepts. Guys, you got to fight through the hard times. You got to water. You got to fertilize that bamboo tree. You got to believe in yourself. You have to have the faith. And you got to have it when people can't see anything, when you can't see anything. Because when you, when you take shape and it happens, that's when people are going to notice. But you know what? That's okay. You welcome them in. Say, yeah, sure. You, you want to work for me now? Not a problem at all. You want to come on board? Not a problem at all. I support you and I will continue to help you because now they are on board, but they had to see it in order for them to believe in it. And that's okay. And it's gonna happen more and more down the road and it is, and that's fine. Surround yourself with those type of people. Be around those people that believe in you when they can't see anything. Tony Robbins always says, people practice in private what they're rewarded in public. Nobody knows about the late nights, early mornings, but they'll see your award on Facebook. You'll see your recognition. What do you do with that recognition? Do you share with others? Do you help others go through, share your story? And that's all I try to do is share stories of what I've come through, what I've done. And some people laugh at it. Some people don't. Some people like, I mean, I get text messages. You know, when you put yourself out there, it is kind of funny. I was watching Les Brown and he was saying something about it. And Eric Thomas is like, if, if you've, you've been through it, then you can say it. If you haven't been through it, then, you know, they're just looking out the window. But when you can look in a mirror and you can say, like, listen, I've had my car repossessed. I had my car, my license removed. I've had my electricity turned off. I've had my bank accounts have a have a dash in front of it instead of a plus sign in front of it. I know what it's like. I know what it, what it's, what it feels like to have those type of things take shape, yet have to get up the next morning and pretend I'm just the happiest guy in the world and things are really good. And let's go sell some damn real estate today and see what happens. That's when, that's when the watering takes place because when that tree grows, it's a really, really cool feeling to have. And there's several bamboo trees that you might have to build personally, business and everything else that you got going on. Guys, I hope, I hope you were able to take a little heart to this. I hope you were able, it it reached out to somebody. I, I, you know, you never know what, what people think and what they say, but If you get an opportunity to look at that bamboo tree, if you're going through that watering and that fertilizer, know that it does grow. Believe in yourself, have faith in yourself, have the patience, and it's going to take shape. Some things are going to happen for you. I know it. If anybody has anything they want to IM me or they're interested in learning a little bit more about what I do, how I do it, if you want to understand some concepts, what are some other videos I listen to? I am me, email me, call me. Um, it's a little bit different today and this week on, on where things are, but you know, sometimes you got to have that special play in your playbook that, that comes out when you need it. Like I said, life's easy and life's fun when, when things are moving in a really good direction, but when things aren't moving in that direction, how do you handle it? And that's a playbook you need when it's fourth and 20 and you're down by, by four, and there's still, and there's less than two minutes left. Sometimes you got to go to that special play. Sometimes you got to dig deeper, pull something out. That is the the chances of it happening are very slim, but you also know you practice it. So it's not a foreign thing to you. And it, and it does take shape and it does happen. And and you make that play and you keep, you keep kicking the can down the road. You keep the ball, the chains moving. You keep things moving and shaking for you to have that opportunity for you, your family, your loved ones, whatever that might look like. Guys, that's all I have today. I really appreciate it. I know it was a little bit more heavier than, than some of my normal playbooks and on uh, things, but we're going to be starting to bring some other people out on the table. Hopefully you got something from it today. I really appreciate everybody's time um, for, for making time because it, it does help me. If you have any comments you want to say, 
privately or whatever, you know, let me know. Um, you help me just as much as hopefully I help you. And, and that's what this, this is all about is helping each other grow because we're all facing these type of challenges and hardships. So guys, thank you so much for being there. Um, like I said, if you need anything, I am me, text me, call me, put some comments on here if you liked what I had and, uh, I appreciate everybody's time. All right, guys, happy Thursday to you. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.